Pisces, you were a doormat. Pisces, you were a doormat. Aquarius, they found you pretentious. Aquarius, they found you pretentious. Capricorn, you were too uptight. Capricorn, you were too uptight. Sagittarius, you were too flaky. Sagittarius, you were too flaky. Scorpio, you got jealous. Scorpio, you got jealous. Yes. Library wanted to make it peaceful official. For Libras, having a partner is a top priority. You're social, you hate to be alone, and your traditional world views make you seek out a traditional partnership. You aren't interested in an ambiguous, ill-defined relationship. In fact, defining the relationship might be more important to you than the person you're dating. Your desire to Instagram the two of you at a pumpkin patch rather than develop a deeper relationship might have been your downfall. Next time, try to focus on the actual relationship instead of how it's perceived. Virgo, you were emotionally unavailable. Virgo may be the rare ghosty who invested too little instead of too much. Your shy nature and insecurities can sometimes lead to a refusal to open up or be vulnerable with someone new. You don't like leaving things to chance, but you must in order to find love. Be confident enough in your inner self to reveal it to the world, or at least to your significant other. You may find yourself struggling with dating in general. But when you finally open up to someone who reciprocates your feelings, you'll work hard to make the relationship the best it can be. Leo, you were too bossy. As a Leo, you probably find dating easy and breezy, at least at first. People seem to gravitate towards you, and you have no problem charming a first date. So where did it go wrong? That winning confidence and self-assuredness can become arrogance and dominance. Leos love to be in charge, but that can be so exhausting for a partner. Basically, you can't be tamed, but you'll sure try to tame everybody else. Try to remember that a partnership is just that, a partnership. You can't be in control of everything. You undoubtedly hate the powerlessness of being ghosted, but try to focus your energy on a partner that respects you and lets you wear the pants instead of ruining the life of your ex. Cancer, they didn't get you. You were likely ghosted because you and said ghost just never clicked on a deeper level. As a Cancer, you can be more reserved, and you don't open up to just anyone. Unsurprisingly, the social structure of dating isn't necessarily your thing. You're incredibly intuitive, but you can be so hard to get to know. Maybe small talk over drinks about how many siblings you have just isn't your forte, but so what? When someone does take the time to get to know and understand you, it will be worth the wait. Gemini, you were on your phone too much. Geminis have a tendency to be a bit all over the place. They are restless, easily bored, and extremely sociable and communicative. If you're a Gemini, you probably have six different group chats to rotate through and too many plans for one night. The downside of being a social butterfly is that your relationships can lack depth as you bounce from thing to thing rather than focusing your energy on one person and one relationship. A result, your date probably thought they were playing second fiddle to the Snapchat video you opened during dessert. Try to stay in the moment 
and prioritize the person you're with, terrifying as it may be. Taurus, you were too needy. Tauruses are known to have strong emotions and staunch morals. As a Taurus, you're probably a relationship person who serially dates rather than casually hooking up. You don't like to be alone, and you can end up depending heavily on your partner. Maybe you texted too much, maybe you spent too much time together, maybe you left a voicemail at 2 a.m. explaining all the reasons he or she is the one. Whatever the snafu, your emotional needs were not being met by this Casper like ghost. You may find yourself having a difficult time moving on from what you thought was a deep relationship. But as a practical and grounded person, Aries, you moved too fast. As an Aries, you're a natural go-getter. You tend to dive head first into any situation, and you dislike a slow pace or delay. Your impatience and ambition apply to your relationships as well, and you may have been chomping at the bit to take your relationship to the next level. In your rush to the altar, you may have missed the part where no one proposed. On the bright side, you'll be quick to move on from your reluctant lover, and you'll probably find your next bow before the stars even have time to align. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.